Welcome back to day 18 of our 21 day DAX challenge. We are getting close to the finish line and today's challenge is something every HR dashboard needs. Here's the question, who is the most senior employee in the company? In the simple terms, who was hired first and has stayed the longest? This kind of insights is super valuable. Uh, not only does it help you recognize loyalty, but it also helps in planning the service awards leadership recognition and even tracking who might have institutional memory in the team. So today, we'll calculate the number of days each employee has been with the company from the hire date till today. And then we will return the name of the person who has been serving the company the longest. So let's build this step by step in DAX and I promise you to keep it beginner friendly as always. Okay, so let's begin with the first thing. We'll just divide this function into four different steps. The first step is we have created a measure over here and now we'll just type down the name of this uh, measure as top senior employee equals to the very first thing as always we'll create a table virtual table with each employee and their number of days in the company. So this will create a variable variable t equals to and then we'll have add columns values we want the employee id. Remember, we don't take employee names because employee names can be duplicate. We use employee IDs, comma, and then this will give us the list of all the unique employee IDs in the company. And second, we will write here as tenure. Okay. And in the tenure, we'll write down the function, date difference function, which you have learned the basics. The function would be look of value. Uh, we will try to hire or we will try to find out the person based on the hire day. Okay. Then employee ID. And then we will find out the employee ID from here. Okay. So what we are trying to do is with the help of that employee ID, we'll be getting the employee hire date. Okay. Now, once we get this option, uh, we want to still find out the difference between a date. Okay. The function used this today and we want the output in a day format. Okay. That should be a day format here. Now, understand this function here. We want the tenure column number one. And in that tenure column, we want to find out the employee hire date. Okay, based on this uh, employee IDs, we will get the higher date here. Now, once we do that, okay, uh, next, what we can do is we'll just close the bracket and next one. Now, after that, step two, we will get the highest tenure in days. Okay, highest tenure in days will create a, a variable which will be given as max tenure equals to and the function always we have written as T for a table, which is uh, virtual table and the tenure. Tenure is the new column which you have created. So this will give us the uh, maximum tenure of the people over here. Now step three would be we'll find out the employee IDs of those person with that tenure. Okay. We use a function named as variable. Uh, we'll use a variable as top ID equals to and here we'll write down the function as max. First with the max we'll filter the table. T for the tenure and T for the table and then tenure which Tenure should be the max tenure over here. And using this, we want the output as employee ID. Okay. So we are trying to compare this data and get the output as employee ID. Okay. Now, finally, after getting the employee ID, okay. Now, as usual, we'll type the function as return uh, for the lookup value. Now, remember, we want the full name of the person. Okay. So, full name of the person we can get with the help of employee ID and we will get the top ID of that person what you have received. So using this calculation, we find out a person who has worked uh, from many years in the company. Okay, this is the longest serving person. So when you drag and drop, we get the output as Steve Jobs. So Steve Jobs is the topmost senior person in the organization till date. Okay, now this can be used as a, uh, you know, celebration tenure for the reward loyalty. Okay, he has been here in the company for many years. So the company can re reward this person here. Now, why Steve Jobs? Let's go back and check whether the answers are coming right or not. When you go back to the table view, employees table, and here if I zoom the screen, let me zoom the screen for you. So when we zoom the screen from here, these are the five employees working in the company. If I sort the data in the ascending order of the higher date, it says Steve Jobs joined the company on 1 1 So he is a person who is the oldest employee in the company not in terms of his age but in terms of experience and the oldest person so he knows the ups and downs of the company he has major inputs 
where is tim cook joined 10 years after steve jobs so this way we can uh, think of loyalty rewards if you are in the hr department you can think of loyalty rewards given to that person who has been staying longest in the company so this was challenge 18 everyone tomorrow in challenge 19 we'll find out the answer which category gives us the most revenue okay let's understand in the next video